Oh. At least it's bearable now. Also, Queen, all I can say is support. Oh, support. Also, did you know that Combi doesn't learn Bug Bite? And only learns Bug Bite in Platinum? This, oh, this, that's interesting. This, yeah, I thought that was a thing they added in Platinum. That this, applies to Caterpie and Weedle, etc. too. Yeah, this was brought to you by Platinum Game. <laughs> Queen says I am allergic to no money. Well... Alright. Haha, <laughs> only Cherubi, no Cherim. <laughs> now I understand why Queen said that. She's sneezing. Crit? Yeah, she said she's allergic to no money and you're bringing I know. out no money. Which is hilarious because get this, she's a Queen Bee! I just. I love. Only Cherubi, no Cherim. Queen says, I know, there's irony. Oh, I love this. Yes, Razor Leaf. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have, um. What's it called? Reflect. Uh, not in this game, I don't think. Not yeah. that it matters anyway. She didn't use it. Oh! You actually have another uh, bronzer chance very soon. Nice. But you are playing platinum, which means your chances won't be as good as diamond. Pearl. Uh, sorry, I mean diamond, which means their chances are not as good as pearl. But I think that's the only thing I can get in that cave. No, it's actually the route below the cycling road. Oh, it's not in Wayward Path? I mean, not Wayward Path, it's not in Turnback Cave. Whatever. Whatever is the one that has Mira in it. What, whatever cave has Mira in it, it's not there? No, it's in both. Okay, because I'm pretty much guaranteed one in that cave. No, that's fine. Yeah, she's gonna just spam super potions. But yeah, um, I'm pretty much guaranteed one in that cave, so even if I don't get one below the cycling road, that is a-okay. Since I think the only thing in that cave is Geodude, Onyx, Zubat, and Bronzor. Hopefully it has Levitate and not Heatproof. However, Heatproof Bronzer is also very good. It's just Levitate is better. I thought you were gonna go for Gibble in Wayward Cave. You can't get that in Chill after Strength. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that would be kind of late. Yeah. So, for me, I'd rather get the Bronzer catch. Which means that it gives me even better chance of getting a Gobite in Victory Road. Oh, I see. That's also why I really want to catch the Onyx. Well, which I'd get Steelix or Onyx in uh, the Steel place, so it didn't really matter. It just means Iron that there's Island. yeah. It just means that there's even better of a chance that I can get a Gobite because it gets rid of more dupes. I think it's down to like two evolution lines at that point, two or three. Yeah, it's honestly pretty easy to lock yourself into a certain catch in some areas. 
Especially in, in the this end, game. The synod, the synod X in Diamond and Pearl is 151, which is exactly as many as Kanto. And we know about variety in Kanto. <laughs> uh, Crew says, honestly, uh, Heat Proof Bronzer is great to make people think you have Levitate so they don't use ground moves anyway. Well, the AI sadly doesn't work like that. Yeah. But both are good. Also, good job at the gym. Thank you. Bronzer's also another Pokemon that does a really good job of with dual screens, so... So, question. Are you going to fight the Galactix? Yes. Okay, Maybe. good luck. I kinda have to, though. Uh, what is the team? Giga Drain and... DP gyms exist. <laughs> They're not that bad. There's worse. Uh, what was I gonna do? I'll get slight more team variety. So Zubat's variety. got Wing Attack, Giga Drain and Bite, and Skuntank's got Night Slash, uh, Smoke Screen, Screech, and Poison Gas. Yep, which means Robin and my Onyx get to have a go at it. Anyway, level limit is really far away now, so... Oh, the Galactics are at level 20 here. Well, this contact is. So... Give me that... The next D. gym is, I believe, level 30. So, you've got quite some freedom with training until then. Yeah, the other scary thing is... There's two gyms that are level 30, so you gotta be careful about what mons you train. And you might have to go into one underleveled. Oh! Oh, it's not as big as it is in Platinum. Okay, so there's only one staircase. Instead of two sta staircases. Got it. Joke's on you, you don't have... Wing attack yet, you're only level 13, so you only have bite. It's level 14. Well, they only get bite at 13. Or is it wing attack at 13? Yeah, it's. Get bite. One shot. I think, uh, I think wing attack is at level 17. Okay, doesn't matter because it's one shot anyway. So yeah, I, it pretty much means that I'm going to be using, well, I pretty much have all my Pokemon trained anyway. Just decided to, to twitch it. Oh no. What did you miss? This thing only has Harden. Why am I not using Hidden Power Fire? I mean, it one shot anyway, so it doesn't matter. And that's with Impish Nature. I'm also nine levels above it, so... 
Oh, okay. That's that's a lot of people. Oh, is there no scary scientist with a cadaver that can one-shot you in this game? Okay, now let me hit and power fire this. Let's see how much- well, if Water Pulse one shot, Hidden Power Fire is definitely gonna one shot. Spooky scary scientist. Dude, I've had that scientist kill so many of my Pokemon that I literally go out of my way to make sure that I have a Pokemon to defeat it and one shot it. I do not fuck around with that scientist with the Kadabra. Line is scary. It is. It really is. There was this one time when I was playing Renegade Platinum, which is um, Dreano's version of Platinum. Uh, I was kind of playing it blind, and I was fighting against a random battle that, like, just random trainer battle out of nowhere. Um, or random rival battle out of nowhere, and I didn't have the best team on me. And suddenly I was against a almost perfect coverage, um, Alakazam. Is this the Kadabra? Yeah, this is a Kadabra. This is why I have pretty fly in front. Um, almost perfect coverage Kadabra, uh, Alakazam. And I have no- I had no clue what I was going to do. So, I threw my mill tank out at it because I'm like, you know what? I have this mill tank on my team. I can sacrifice it if need be and save the rest of my team members. Let it do some chip damage. The mill tank decided to dodge a, um... It decided to dodge a Focus Blast and hit it with Body Slam, paralyze it, and then outspeed it. Yikes, that's some excellent and, luck. And then I absolutely gained all the respect for Miltank. I was just like, holy crap, this thing is good. And I kept it on my team, and I named it Cow, and now I actually really like Miltank. I'm gonna swap Pretty Fly out. <laughs> Pretty Fly took care of the cadaver for me, so I'm not as scared anymore. I'm gonna try and grab a team for that guy. I'm gonna put the uh, bell in the bet uh, the box though. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a bell to give to my bell to make it like me more. How's Mil take faster than like Dalga anyway? How is a cat faster than Latios and Latios, huh? Excellent questions. Riddle me this. I mean, Tentacruel is fast too, and it doesn't even have legs. Yeah, what is up with Tentacruel's speed? Oh yeah, hold on. And speaking of cats, actually. No, no cat. Well, no, but we're about to fight a kind of cat, kind of. It's skunk. a skunk. It's close enough. Has an orb faster than a rocket-propelled snowman. What's the rocket propelled snowman? Um, uh, I'm guessing that's a bomber snow, but the bomber snow is pretty slow. 
Uh, jellyfish actually move very slowly. They don't really have any brains or muscles, so... Oh, Zangler and their Manitou. That's right. I guess they can swim fast. <laughs> Try kids propel snowman. Honestly, yeah, that's true. I forgot this game, uh, in this game, it's literally just a building that they decided to take over. Like, yeah, we're just, we're just hogging this building and not a special, specific building for them. Clearly we saw a different jellyfish, Sarian. I don't know what kind of jellyfish you see that move pretty fast, but I don't think it was actually a jellyfish. Box jellyfish can go like one to two meter per second. They can? Well, aren't- are box jellyfish really that big? Big? You mean fast? Yeah. Uh, actively hunts its prey, small fish, rather than drifting as do true jellyfish. They are capable of achieving speeds of one, uh, 1. 1.5 to 2 meters per second, or about 4 knots. Wow, okay, that is the fastest jellyfish I have ever seen. Most jellyfish literally just drift and barely move. I like how the mods are just chilling there. Alright, Sonic, gotta kill this fast. Note to self, I need to give Sonic a claw. Well, you are sped anyway, so that's nice. Twenty feet per minute. That is so slow. I kind of. Oh, I didn't bring my bird. Oh, you wanted to do intimidate shenanigans. Yeah. Where are them? Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, I see. 20 feet per minute is slow. Yeah, I can walk faster than- Oh! Well, yeah. Well, 20 feet in a minute seems pretty slow, yeah. Okay, yeah. Abort mission! Yes, I am faster than a jellyfish. However, compare You're bigger uh, than a jellyfish. Yes, but look up how fast a silverfish or how fast the really, really fast centipedes can move. Although those are some of the fastest animals in comparison to size. So, oh, boy, oh, went for poison gas. Oh. That's quite surprising. I wouldn't chance on the Sonic King though. No, I just wanted to... I knew I could probably take a hit, but I'm definitely switching. Okay. Right, we're... do your job. Confusion certainly is doing its job. Ah. Snapped out, poison gas, Don't and consume. miss. Oof. So it's at minus three defense. Yeah, good moment to attack. You see a screeching? Why? So I can get it to minus six. I don't think minus six is necessary. Worms bolt. Yeah, but you're minus five already. Yeah. 
Good time and to start that. second. Uh, come on. And that. That's why I wanted to screech. Well, if rock throw failed, screech would have failed anyway. I'm gonna attempt one more and then I'll switch. Nice, just one connected. Uh, one uh. more screech would have uh, killed it. Well, you wouldn't have had the time to do a rock throw with another screech. But you're definitely killed it with the next one. Whatever move that is. There's its own screech, which means I need a switch. Honestly, at this health level, that's better than Night Slash. Oof. Yeah. Not with that poison. That's fine, I brought back up. Go nuts, Psyduck, use not confusion. Come on. Okay. Good, good. Oh, that's a pretty comforting amount of damage. And this now is why. Hit. Magnitude 8? Yeah, that's definitely gonna one shot. Or kill it off. Not one shot. Honestly, with all those screeches, I'm pretty sure I would have one shot. You would have probably one shot with anything at that point. Listen to some child. Being careless costs me so much. Bitch, that's no money! <laughs> what do it you mean worked. it costs you so much? That's literal shit! Yeah, Queen would like to have a word with you. Quaint. Well, fairy very came from space, hand it over. <laughs> well done! I hope I can just do as well as you did here. That's a pretty scary fight, even if you have good counters. How much HP do you have left? 20, 20 steps, I think I can make it. Yeah, I mean... The poison is going to fade away, anyway. Oh, that's right, it does fade away. I always forget which gen's poison fades away and such. It starts here. Okay, and then in Gen 5, I think it doesn't hurt you outside of battle. Six. Oh, it's six, okay. So here's something I learned. Uh... Recently, but I will talk about that when I get the chance. Okay, so we're gonna get a bike. And I'm what did you get... learn recently? Uh, I was messing around with Sky Temple, the mystery, the PMD Sky uh, ROM editor. Or just the editor, pretty much. Mm hmm, and? And I was just like, oh, you know, I'm gonna mess around to see what it is, see uh, what I can kind of learn from it. And I've actually did a little bit of editing and just fiddling around and such with it. And it was, I learned as I went, I don't know 100% how to fully make, like, everything from it, but I, I did do um, some messing with of, um, hold on, I did do some messing with of Pokemon, I kind of figured out how to change things like the bodies had to add in sprites that might not have been in, in the, that were added in the sprite directory that might not be in with the randomizer fully yet. Um, so I added some sprites for some Pokemon um, that weren't added in before. So for example, Dragonite finally had some sprites added for it, which I knew that uh, the randomizer probably wouldn't have added by then. Um, and I actually noticed that someone had made sprites for normal Celebi. So I went, I, I looked into it and I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can mess around with it and maybe try and uh, uh, see if I can turn them into a shiny variant. So, Sarah Crew says, Surround making a demake of Poke Super Mystery Dungeon 1. 
that would be an interesting project for sure. Chips oh, no, are gone. And now Queen is playing is every in everyone's heads. I hear a Queen song twice every hour at work. The same Queen song. I'm so sorry. At least it's not one of my favorites, but it's kind of starting to grate at me. Yes. You've matched 47 Pokemon. <laughs> Hey! Oh look! EXP share, just what we needed. Perfect. Here, yes. have that. Also here, Sonic, have that. <laughs> Freddy, I want to ride my bicycle. Look, there's a time and place for everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I can't actually get on my bike in the cycling road? Well, not in here, because it's indoors. Here, yes you can. Also, fun fact, being seen by other trainers makes you defy gravity. Huh? Well, because the cycling road is downhill. So you actually speed right down if no one intercepts you and starts a battle with you. So being intercepted actually makes you defy gravity. Don't don't you just put your foot down and stop moving downward? Oh. There there's something called the brakes. Don't ruin my stupid joke. <laughs> Only messing with you. You're no fun. Boo. Boo, I know. But anyway, so I took that person's, um... I used a mixture between the, the normal shiny Celebi sprites and kind of used the person's, uh, normal... Celebi sprites as a base, and I made uh, Celebi, uh, shiny Celebi sprites that it was missing, based based on the person's normal Celebi sprites that they had made. Nice. And that's the thing I want to show you because I'm very proud of those Celebi sprites. I made them last night and this morning. It took me a few hours. But it was actually pretty fun. So when are we going to see you on the Sky Temple team? <laughs> Let me just whip out my uh, gimp and just start making sprites for all the Pokemon that are missing them. You're going to become more artistic than I am. I gotta watch out. I was gonna say that it depends on how long they'll hold my interest for, but like I said, I, I I did enjoy it. Oh look, Pick Claw is actually working. Sonic finally gets to be fast. Oh, and Queen says she actually needs to sort out the alt decks. Yeah, I look forward to seeing some Gijinka for the alt decks. That seems mm. really cool. Maybe, maybe, if we get enough alt decks mons, it's gonna take a long time. Maybe I can start making sprites for him and use uh, the Sky Temple to actually turn the Pokemon into those types and give them correct level up moves. Not actually give them the correct sprites, obviously, because that would take a long time, but I could at least use their in-game sprites and give them portraits that would match. Hmm. 
Old Dex Mystery Dungeon. No, that would be fun. <laughs> Crew says, ah, Sky Stuff is a potential temporary hyperfocus, huh? No, that's currently Metopia. What move do I, am I trying to learn? Roar? No, thank you. What do you want, Roar? Oh, yes, let me use Roar to give up on my own catches. I honestly didn't see what move I had learned. 